Okay, hi, welcome and welcome back to some more of The Witcher 3. Last time we spent a lot of the time, well I guess a lot of the last part of the episode in Novigrad. We are now the champion of Novigrad after defeating four people, three leading up to it and then the previous champion which took a few tries but I was able to do it even though he is, or yeah, he's a level 24 and I I'm about to be level 7, but I was able to do it anyway. We have a load of side missions still, a load of contracts, and then obviously the main mission. I'm kind of holding off on the main mission now, trying to get through some of the side quests because obviously I know more and more are going to appear and I don't want to be too overwhelmed. I think I'm doing a pretty good job so far at keeping them like under my belt, but it's fine. We have this again. I don't know if you guys like watching this. I always do, but if you wouldn't rather, I just skip. Let me know. Witcher set off to find it with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the Elven Mage, yet the Wild Hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt it always lost until Kira gave him a new lead: the Crones of Crookback Bog. I guess it doesn't update until you have. Done more of the main mission, which I haven't. Let's have a look at what's going on. We have more people. Okay, Caleb Men. Manger? Manger? In those days, rampant persecution and the smoke of a hundred pies choked Novigrad's air. This grim climate provided cover in which a great many bloody butchers built comfortable nests for themselves, drummed up conspiracies, mass arrests and show trials resulting in group executions with the favourite building blocks. Caleb, the fan fanatically ambitious commander of all the Church of the Eternal Fire's Temple Guard, was one such opportunist. His moment of triumph coming when he unmasked his superior, the former Temple Guard commander Chappelle, as a doppler in disguise. Geralt first saw him lighting Chappelle's pyre in Novigrad's main square and had no doubt that this man, the palliation, was too <laughs> mild by far. Chappelle. Geralt and I had long known that Chappelle, Chancellor of Security for the Church of the Eternal Fire in Novigrad, had died years ago and been replaced by a Doppler masquerading under his name. We didn't breathe a word of this to anyone, of course, for the change was decidedly in everyone's best interest. The Doppler had proved a reasonable creature deprived of the true Chappelle's cruelty and under his watch life in the city had much improved. Sadly, the Chancellor's conciliar Tory style must have been raised suspicions as a wave of terror and persecution began to swell over Novigrad. The Doppler was found out, arrested, and burned at the stake for the greater glory of the eternal fire. Felicia Corey. Geralt had been in situations where he could not prevent someone's death on more than one occasion. In fact, you might say he had grown accustomed to that particular form of agony. It is another thing altogether, however, to stand powerless and watch the unjust, cruel execution of an acquaintance for whom has developed a fondness. Such was his loss as regards Felicia Corey, Corey, sorry, oh, did I say Corey? A young sorceress whom Geralt had met while chasing the Kingslayer Letho. Though Geralt had not gotten to know her deeply, he had nonetheless taken a liking to this former pupil of Philippa Eilhart, who had seemed to have a pleasant and enterprising young woman. Yet she was a wielder of magic and as such met her end in empire. Vimy. The dwarves had been in the banking business since the legendary King Desmond of Temeria was just snot-nosed brat in short trousers asking for more yam with his bread. Aw, yam with his bread. Since then, the prominent dwarven banking families, the Giancardis, the Vivalids, Vivaldis, and the Cian Fenelis have only expanded their services, establishing branches in all the larger cities of the north. Vimy carried the torch of this venerable tradition into modern times, growing the Novigrad branch of his family's bank until it was the largest in the city. Geralt and I had met him over a dozen years before our story begins, and had always appreciated his honesty and financial acumen. The last he gave further proof of during time in which our story takes place, for his bank remained profitable even in the face of growing non-human oppression. Vezerad! 
News of the Nilfgaardian army's approach led nobles of all ranks and orders to pack up their silver and flee post haste to safer harbours, abandoning all thoughts of defending their Patreon, Patreon, patrimony and leaving their lands at the invaders' mercy. Lord Vezerad was no exception to this rule. The magnate had ruled much of Vela and formed his base at Crow's Purge before fleeing with his family to take shelter in a tower on Fike Island. The safety he sought- wait, I read that, no? According to one of them, Vezerad, unmoved by human suffering, had his mage poison- yeah, I read that. But you're lying. Oh, I read that. Bad. Anyway, what was I doing? Quests, right? Yeah. This is a main quest. We have a load in Novigrad though. I could try that one. Maybe we try this one. I feel like I could probably get away with it, you know? If we're in Novigrad, we might as well. What about secondary quests? Novigrad. That's really high. And I can't win that card yet. Okay. Let's go talk to the. Wouldn't be so pale if you ate Sylvester Amello. He. I, I, I think we could probably do this mission. You know, it's not too high of a difficulty. It's. I mean, it could be a bit lower, but I mean, it's fine, I guess. <laughs> What's he doing here? Got through. I've got a pass. Okay, buddy. Come at me like that. Why, Ayana? What was it happened to Faltus again? Who am I speaking to? Well, Sil where's Sylvester? Where are you at? What's new? I wish you health. <coughs> No. Where's the guy I'm looking for? Uh, nothing hurts as much as life. Is he not here? Maybe I need to. Oh, during the day. <laughs> Um, you know, we can't all be smart. Some people need to be dumb, okay? Ah, ah, I'm just, just taking one for the team. Oh. Waste of breath. The best stock in all Novigrad. I want to see if they have armor or pads. to push enough for all comers. Uh, no yeah. one to push. Very good. Manners before trade, always. What? Let me have a look. I think it's only the like blacksmiths, blacksmiths, Bye. blacksmiths that have the repair tools. Ah, ma. Greetings, master. I'm here to talk about the contract. Hear about the contract? Really got an imp problem, or is that just an imp perfection in the notice? You ought not jest, Master Witcher. I know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales, yet I saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my store. What did it steal? What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then apples. It might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. Maybe you just wanted apple All fish right. bread pie. So what's this imp look like? Like a mean fat cat, but a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. So, will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? Did you see that in the background? Are you willing to pay? Make it worth my while and I will. Demand for witches is high, supplies low. I pick and choose my contracts these days. 
Haggling. To haggle for a higher reward, choose an amount using the mouse and confirm it by clicking it. If your counterparty accepts your offer, you've made a deal. If your offer is too high, your counterparty will grow annoyed, push too hard, and he or she will break off negotiations. Uh, let's do 270. Fine negotiation on your part, master. So I should have gone higher. We'll call it agreed. Why'd I go so low? Relax, I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, and so on and so on. Thank you, Master Witcher. I don't know if this will be of use, but most recently the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. Okay, oh. I guess that means we can use our senses to follow the path. Ooh. God, a reaper's come for me. God, no crowd is a bit ringy, isn't it? It's like England. Um, okay, here we are. Oh, wait. Was that an examen? Merchant was right. Actually, does look like a giant cat. A little kitty! So I say little. This thing is not little. <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. Oh, that's bad. Looks like the imp dropped some loot. Hmm. Definitely came through here. I don't know where that leads to, but I'm pretty sure it's not the way we need to go. Okay. So through there. Drop down into the moat. Trail ends here. Whee! First they'll get wet, then sick. A load of loot for me. Oh, no, no, no. Up, up, up. Girl, girl. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, so many goodies. Again, though, I do have to be careful of what it is I loot. Or I guess, ooh, who's watching? Doors wide open. Open here. Interesting. Boot prints start there. Could it be the puss in boots? <laughs> is it like another werewolf or is it someone dressing up as a wolf? Letter? Or cat? Well, well. Our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. Short letter. This is not short. In what world is this short? Jane, please, cut out this nonsense at once. This might come to you as a surprise, but a giant cat will tend to stick in people's memory. Why don't you pick some other safer form like I did? I've been walking around as a beggar for three years now and no one's bad an eye. And such earnings, you wouldn't need to steal anymore. So how will it be? If you decide on it, I'll put in a word with you for the king of beggars. Till our next writing, Louis. Yes, burn this letter at once. You read it, okay? P P S. Yes, I know I'm paranoid, but humor me and burn it. P P P S. If I if find this letter next thing I come see you, you owe me a bit. Okay. Ooh, these are like the um. Those are the contracts. I read all of those. These are what I bought though. Heavily faded notes by Hier 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 Hieronymus on the witch's gear. Elga. I don't know how I got here from Elga, but okay. Elga places upgrades to school of the witch. What? Elga places upgrades to school of the wolf witch gear in three different caves in the area immediately to the south of Kaer Morin. He hoped future generations of witches would find them in an hour of need. Okay, and then the map. Beautiful. Professor Slavko at 
Tim Stein will be furious. I lost the first map in a game of Gwent, and the second one was stolen from me whilst I was slightly indisposed after a hard night in the casino. I cannot arrive empty handed at the station near the tomb under Crookback Hills, or the professor will vivisect me on the spot. The four new locations I've marked on this map might be enough to protect me from his wrath. Edwin. Okay. The Doppler explains a lot and complicates matters. Need a good lead to track him down. It's the wolf guy. Is there an upstairs? Yeah, there is. Okay. Crystallized essence. We're getting a load of notifications right now. What shall become of Samaria? I feel like I read that one. A woman's blouse, a man's shirt, a child's shoes, but only one bed. Lavender, strong scent. Enough to track him down. Ooh, okay. Do another little save. Just hope it don't come down hard at harvest this year. That's all I have. Had a loaf of bread too, but I dropped oh, it's him. decided not to go back. Book His choice. All. Rare sight. An elf and a guard of the eternal fire having a friendly chat. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me, for no reason at all. You's a non-human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. It did not sound like... that. That was some pretty bad acting. Really ought to explore other career options. Petty theft, maybe. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me. <sighs> Always the same old shit. <laughs> Come back here, you rat. Wait. wait. That was easy. He did not I run really fast. I want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Did he turn into me? Oh, you're in for it now, you rat. Damn, I look old. <laughs> oh, wait. He's like really... Damn it. You're a rat. Nah. He only uses Quinn. Is that because I only use Quinn? Has he learned? No shot. Has he like learned my? Oh. What do I keep doing? Please stop! I surrender. That's crazy. Might I be feel able like to look like a witcher. But that won't make you fight like one. Well, you're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. I don't kill him. True, but then not everybody applies my rules, and not everyone's got my conscience. So start stealing somewhere else, far from Novigrad, preferably. Golden Age of Dopplers ended here a while ago. I know, but I thought they'd not catch me. I thought myself too smart. Serves me right. Might have learned this lesson the hard way. Time to go, somewhere far away. But first, take this as a token of my gratitude. It might come in handy in the future. So long, Witcher. And we have a long future, so. Mm, oh. Return to the marketplace. 
and tell him. Oh, there are stairs. <laughs> this game at night is so dark that I couldn't even tell there were stairs. That is crazy. Ooh, that's where I all looted from. Excuse me. I'll push you over the edge then. Make room for myself. Tusk, tusk, tusk. Oh! Greetings, master. Problem solved. Convince the imp to go back to the countryside to tangle horse manes and piss in milk, as tradition ordains. And how would I know you speak the truth? No trophy, no reward. There better be one. Or you'll feel the invisible hand of the market smack you so hard you won't be able to sit down for a week. God damn. I'll give you half the agreed sum, no more. And I'll not do business with you again. Yes, you! You got water on the brain! Uh, what are you is it Triss? What? Uh. Uh. what? Oh, we have ma loads of main quests. Should we go visit Triss? Yeah! Oh! Oh! Tris. Like dung that flows to the sewers. Bailiff's a harsh no. man. Okay, wait. We'll see Got this first. Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. I've already defeated one of you. <laughs> Waste of words talking to you. Then go! Be gone! <laughs> oh my god, that I am! You know me! Ah! Oh! Hey, sod off. We're looting here. Not from Trish, you're not. Not here for the loot. Interested in the sorcerers who lived here. And we're supposed to believe that. Yeah. Most likely hiding in some rat trap with the rest of them. Why is she hiding? Who's she hiding from? Or who? Temple gods cracking and down. We know why. All but... mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid grove. Interesting, as names go. A hive of scum and freakery if there ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. Putrid grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. You want to say that again? Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside Not the of town. Sewers. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar, or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. He Maybe sounds like Sid beggars have a from king, crown, Final Fantasy scepter, XVI. And all that. Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of I'm Beggars, pretty sure it is. It's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menga himself don't even go to the grave. Menga. Okay. Someone call for me. Wonder why. Oh. It's Menga. Temple God. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerous bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession oh, of Oh, so you just want her stuff. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad.
You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. <sighs> Let's play smart. <laughs> Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. But then, and you know, my mind moth, would be so new. So I, I don't want freaks. that. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. I haven't done anything wrong. But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine. Protect them by traumatizing the them? Fires. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Gladly. Why that make me nervous? <laughs> Why am I on edge? Okay. Huh? I might as well do that. Why not? God damn. Can we? Can I? Oh. I just wasted a crossbow. Herbs? Roots? Just turned to healing? Hmm. My evening with a vampire? Is this a book? You will no doubt call me a liar, a cheat, and a madman. You will shake your head in pity and snort in disbelief. But I promise you, I swear on all the gods, everything which you shall read, the following pages to follow is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I met the vampire of which I write years ago in an inn in Beauclair. He introduced himself to me as Rageous and said he was a barb and a medic. Since he looked in every aspect like a mortal man, I might have never even suspected his true nature. Had not a fire broken out shortly thereafter in the establishment in which we were residing, this Rageous, if that truly was his name, stood completely untouched by the flames, whereas my own clothing quickly caught fire. The vampire carried me out of the burning inn, saving my life from sudden death, then treated my numerous wounds. It's Carlisle! At first, he refused to answer my query as to how he had miraculously survived the furnace, like temperatures inside the burning inn without so much as a scratch on his body or a hair singed on his head. Eventually, however, he must have sensed I was a man of the world, one who would not jump to hasty judgments based on appearances or species and revealed his identity, along with a great number of highly interesting facts. According to him, not all vampires are alike. The vast family contains both minus catechins, Bedders and Echimaras, who in form resemble overgrown bats far more than humans, as well as Alps and Brucks, who look remarkably oh, sorry, who look remarkably like comely maids. In addition to these, there are the even more powerful high vampires to which something belonged my unexpected acquaintance. Not even a witch can discern a high vampire from a mortal man. Contrary to popular belief, they cannot be killed by pounding a spin axe. Aspen steak, sorry, into their chest, nor by cutting off their heads, nor, as I can vouch for based on personal experience, by fire. They do not fear running water, garlic, or the symbols of any creed. It might be some consolation to learn a vampire's bite does not turn into a human, does not turn a human into one of their number, and they do not in any way need our blood in order to survive, to them. It is merely a delicacy in which they indulge from time to time, like men do with fine wine. He asked me to keep this cell to myself, but now as I lie on my deathbed, I feel like I must share the secret knowledge, even if it means breaking my word to this most noble individual. I do feel like I read these ones though. A mere rules to expand, he has trained his strategic belerin- what am I saying? Amir rules to expand. He has trained his strategic brilliance on a singular vision to conquer the world, though he rightly calls this not conquest but salvation. Yes, the Emperor of Nilfgaard sets the world alight with the torch of civilization. Traveling to still warm corpses of his father's spurs, the Emperor received the throne and began to assimilate the northern realms, one after the other. Terror engulfed the north, only the Battle of Brennus slowed the Imperial Army's march towards victory. A temporary peace that took hold, though none believed the mirage would last. Amir's aim to make the entire north a vassal of Nilfgaard remain unchanged. Amir used peace as a cover 
to intensify his political efforts. Now we can see their results. Chaos and disorder devour the Nordling states, ridden with the eternal bickering and backstabbing, they near collapse. Only a strong ruler can grapple this dysfunction into function. Only a wise ruler can give vision to their blindness. Only a mere Var Emerus can save the North. So our armies have again crossed the Yoruga for the third and final time. The conjunction of the spheres. Schoolers, scholars, <laughs> schoolers. Scholars have many vices. Possibly the worst among them is a tendency to describe the simple in unnecessarily complex terms, to dress the plane in the garb of false learning. The conjunction of the spheres might serve as an excellent example of this. This name, so mysterious with common as ear, could be replaced with a much simpler alternative when the worlds collided. The phenomenon itself can be explained in terms simple enough for a child to understand. Imagine, dear reader, that our world is a ship sailing on a great sea. From its deck we can see another, distant vessels. Those are the stars. These vessels each bear their own goods and their own crews. They usually pass us at some distance, barely visible specks even viewed through a spyglass. Once every thousand years, however, a storm breaks above this cosmic sea. A storm so strong it tosses the ships towards one another, making them sail cheek by jowl. Part of the crew of one ship can at such times move to another, and some of the cargo from one ship's hold can spill into a neighbouring vessel. When the weather calms, the ships separate once again and sail their separate, invariably different ways. The so-called post-conjunction beings, namely monsters such as ghouls and basilix, are precisely such passengers from another vessel. And we, humans, are castaways, flung against our will from somewhere far away onto a world previously inhabited by the Elder Races. Once here, we learn the arcane mysteries of magic unbeknownst to us before. Could the worlds collide once more? Perhaps. Can this cataclysm be avoided or the opposite hastened? Some scholars believe there are beings who have mastered this skill, who possess rare genes that allow which some to seize the helm of our vessel and steer us to safer waters or to our doom. Hairbrush. Only ever known Triss to use one like this. What's upstairs? Oh my god, there's more reading. I feel like I read that. I won't read all of it just because my voice is getting a bit tired. Um, and I don't want to overdo it or. Amulets are or emanating magic. Some people. Gotta be traces. She was allergic to potions. Oh. I didn't know that. Oh, another upstairs. Wait, this place is like trash. That's so Tracy. sad. Never knew how to drop him on the floor. He didn't love her. I mean, that was my choice. I can't really be like mad at that. But that's still so sad. <laughs> oh, deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. You wretch. I've been robbed. Thief. I guess I follow them. Look for thieves on the main sky. You fairness in your eyes. Rain again. 
damn mages. I don't know where he went. Uh, what? Any needs, monster? He sensed something. Gotta stay further back. Okay. Stop! Thief! Oh. I guess we'll follow this one. You know the Ballad of Wonder? Uh, who spawned in a... Sir, sir, be merciful. Give us a crown, eh? My mum's sick, and if I don't feed her, well, she's like to die of hunger. Where will I find the King of Beggars? All right, I'll give you some coin, but you gotta tell me where the Putrid Grove is. I don't know that. Keep your coin, I don't know a thing. Move on. Be gone! I would have given you the money if you told me. I hear teeth like fool bellows begging to be seen. Yes, yes. Who? Are they all going to pass it along to one another? No, at least it's not raining anymore. It's one thing. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> you all right? The pilot's dead. Is that him? I feel like that's him. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. Wonders ran. I kind of thought he was dancing. <laughs> Nothing. Sorry. Not now. On the guards. They're worse than thugs. Okay, there is a job thing there, though. It's a waste of words. He sensed something. Gotta stay further back. Ugh. Those children. Are you do well not to pester fuck. Mutants, blasphemers, code. I feel like I'm staying quite far back now. Okay. Officer, taking a rest from witch hunting. What are you playing? Greetings, Your Honor. My Good to see you again. Bring us the usual. Open up. Who are you and what do you want? Doing some sightseeing. Kind of curious about what's beyond this gate. My brother-in-law was curious. Oh. Worms been eating him for five years now. Oh. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated killer, me thinks. Mutant. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Don't know the password. Pay up there. What, how do I get my delusion level up? Catch. 
You may enter. Oh, right after you leave me your weapons. They'll be safe in the locker. Okay. Fine. Make sure you don't lose them. No worries. Be waiting for you once you're done. I have a feeling they're gonna wanna kill me. That's so sad. About time we made something clear. Tris? Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? With my little yes. eye. Hey, Tris. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you managed to find Very. me, Witcher. <laughs> Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Oh. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have. But I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with the hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. What do you want? Well, I know a what he wants, but I don't want to say you don't stand One a chance. Day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk they were looking the away eternal there. fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now. I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. I well, might have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. I might turn the music down, but it's hella loud. Like, actually, extremely. That was weird. Extremely so. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start a new. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on, let me give you a taste of my life. That's so sad. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. Nice to hear a few kind words, but my friend needs his weapons. Cause I got him. I do so not I like him. I don't like him back. at all. I don't so trust I'm him either. Him Here's your junk. Thanks. 
You watch out for yourself, Miss. Novigrad's not what it used to be. I'm not there. a city for you. I'm sure she can take care of herself, but... I'll just take care of it for her. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Oh, she's really sweet. Well, 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 well. Oh. It's a material world, and I'm a material girl. It's a material world, and I'm just a material girl. Yes, ma'am. Lost my way again. I love how I peer my head around the corner like Hello, I'll be able crew. to see more. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, oh, Luke. What's no going time on? time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten but... Uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then dive for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Aww. In the Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. It wouldn't be Stop. the first time I've dived into the water this I time. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Damn. Turned out. He was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn you, went mad. We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. That's me. I'm too. so I'm ticklish everywhere, everywhere. Like. What is going on? Right. He clearly loves that book. When the traveler from the northern realms first crosses the border into Tos Tosaint, he feels at once as though he has stepped into a land ripped straight from the pages of a fantastic fairy tale. He will know no inclement weather there, for even the winters in Tos I don't know how you say that, are mild and sunny, with only gentle calming breezes and not a hint of gale. He will know no hunger for the trees and bushes of that land burst with ripe and juicy fruits all the year long. He will know no loneliness, for each and every soul he encounters will treat him like a long lost friend. He will not find a single backwater of dullness, boredom or inquietude in this overflowing stream of marvel. Into Saint, the wine rages in torrents, music plays ceaselessly, and everywhere the air is filled with the sound of birdsong and the twittering of beautiful maids. Who are never stingy with their ample charms when a handsome knight comes a calling. The capital of the Duchy, Beauclair, is an architectural gem full of glorious elven monuments, delicately soaring towers, massively carved relics or reliefs, and atmospherically mysterious ruins. Only the rare sun in a field of black, the old gold and dark stain on an otherwise pristine edifice reminds one that this land. 
this fable incarnate is a vast vessel of Nilfgaard. I'm struggling to read. I can't read that one. I want to. Don't get me wrong, but I'm actually struggling to read. I need to get water, I think. Damn, he really loves that book. Okay. See, Geralt has water. Where's my water, though? Is that it? I can't see! There. I just slid on down them. Okay. Oh. What the hell? Oh. I need to remember. Uh, Must be a lever on this wall that'll open the secret passage. I need to remember not to hit them after like putting Igni on them. Uh, well, find the secret passage. Oh. Free city of Novograd. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan and would have fired. But Novograd stands on top of a mountain of coin. And winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why they're exterminating mages. Confiscating their property and possessions. And they'll go after non-humans next. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be. Hopefully, I didn't miss dialogue. I tried to wait. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. The current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. I... my thing is like full on crashing. I don't even know why, like... I'm getting dip frames all over the place. Hopefully it's okay. I think I need to go and change the settings. I won't lie. Oh. There we go. Got it. Tris. We find the parcel. Or did you get wet for no reason? I found it. Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. And a load of other loot. <laughs> Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on, 
Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of anger. <laughs> I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Like you? Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Oh, that was deep. That was okay. That was that was sad. Oh my god, this frame rate is insane. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Okay. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. You're a merchant, familiar with how commerce works. Of course. Honest pay for honest work. Half up front, half once the job's done. You're asking a great deal. I'm a witcher. Gotta admit, I've met my share of people who say one thing beforehand, another after the fact. Forgive me for being cautious. Very well. Your first installment. I don't think he would have liked it if we did full in advance, so... We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. Place traps around the warehouse. Use your witcher senses to guide. Okay. I'll cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm -hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices and droppings. Once droppings we place here. This incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. Okay, that was one place. Um. Oh, another place here. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Tris! Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Tris, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I'm worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. I think I plugged every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Well? Well? I love how that's what she says. Well? Well? Is stuff happening? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's, I can see the incense, but... Now we wait. Take a little potion. Eat some fish. Tris? <laughs> we good? I guess it's done. <laughs> I didn't see any fireworks, but I mean, it's fine. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, <laughs> trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could it be in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Mm. 
Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Oh. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. Maybe you're right. You could be right, but only he knows the truth. We're only ever the ones to know the truth about ourselves. Which we share at times with those we hold dear. Even if it's hard to swallow? Even then. Who knows? Maybe one day. This is so sad. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? She's fine. She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. What would she have said if I chose another option? Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. You have got to be kidding. Geralt. This stank from the start. Let's agree your friends were never here. Now pay the rest and let's part in peace. You don't set the terms, mutant. Stay I'll set the end, though. We're here for the witch. We're inseparable, see? Afraid you'll have to take us both. Geralt! If you say so. All right, we You didn't talked. want to do this, buddy. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. I'll be coming for you next. Where is he? Oh, that, that wasn't hard. Don't kill me. <laughs> Sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls yeah. as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. I'd say triple. Now. I mean, whatever. Fine. Your coin. Now get. Thanks, Geralt. No need. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. Oh. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat infested <laughs> warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now, before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'll be nice. All right. See you later.
That was so sweet. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to leave it that for today. Um, ooh, rune stones can be used to enhance your weapons. Okay. Uh, rune stone. Don't I always use these? <gasps> we have better armor. Yay. Oh, these ones, ones aren't as good. Okay, no, don't want you. Let's do Igni on that one. <gasps> we can do this one too now because we, uh, we, we leveled up, so everything's good. Why are my weapons different? Oh, because it put on. Oh. It put on a different one. 5870. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, wait, that's. Is that silver? Silver, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's way better, so we'll keep that one. This is steel. Right, anyone better than this? I don't think there is. Sadly not, sadly not. I don't know what I meant by runestone though. Is it these? Have I not been using runestones or something? I, I don't know. Alchemy crafting characters. Corrine Tilly. One iromacy. The magic art of deciphering the past and the future as they appear in dreams is difficult for even a highly trained sorceress to master. Those born with the talent, however, excel at it without any formal education. Such was the case of Corrine Tilly, whose fame as a dreamer as such divine as unknown had spread far and wide. We have Francis. The free city of Novigrad had known no king's rule for nearly 200 years. Francis Bedlam surely had this fact in mind when he appoint anointed, anointed himself the King of Beggars, a title that mocked the pomposity of crowned heads while simultaneously sealing a bit of said pomp for himself. Bedlam was a pragmatic man, a trait of great use in his profession, which involved managing a network of thieves, beggars, and street urchins that tickled through every part of the city. His contracts provided him with the freshest gossip and tastiest morsels of information, and the cuts he took of his subjects, earnings guaranteed a sizable income for the maintenance of his court in the booted grove. Francis despised fanaticism <laughs> and prejudice in equal measure, which meant that majors fleeing the witch's hunter's Princes often turn to him for protection. Hmm. I guess this is my leveling up screen. I want to upgrade this because this is one of the skills I have. So it makes some sense. I don't know. How do I unlock these? Maybe it's with levels or stuff that they unlock. I'm not sure. But anyway, I am going to... Okay, I am gonna go ahead. I'm going to save and leave it there for today. I feel like my game's playing worse and worse each time. I don't know why. It could just be that it's like a really populated area and so my PC is kind of crushing. I might have to turn the graphics down. I already have it on DLSS performance, so I don't know. I think my drivers do need updating though, so maybe doing that will kind of help and fix it, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next part of The Witcher 3. Okay, bye!